Good evening. This is Jaxa from 8wayrun.com. I am making this video to discuss a new feature I have just added to our ranking ladder system. Our ladder system can now record the character usage of a player during a specific tournament event. Unfortunately, there are already 125 events registered in the system and the majority of them don't have any character usage data. In this video, I will show how players can edit their character usage information very easily, as well as their region and their respective teams. If you are a tournament organizer, I will show how you can edit information on your events as well as any character usage information for players who attended those events. To get started, remember that you must have an account at 8 Way Run and you must have a ranking ID linked to your account. If you have an account, log in and simply click on your name in the welcome box. Depending on what skin you have selected, this box may be in a different location than what you see on this video. After clicking on your name, you will come to your profile page as yourself and other users on the forum will see it. If your account is linked to an ID on the ranking ladder system, you will see a box on the right side of the page listing up to 5 of your best scoring events in the past 12 months. If you do not see this box, that means your account is not linked to a ranking ID. If you think this is a mistake, you may browse the ranking ladder system using the built-in search functions to find events you have attended and the ranking ID that belongs to you. Then send me a private message on 8-Way Run and I will look into fixing it. Now looking at this info box, you will see a link for Show All Statistics. If you click this link, it will bring you to a page listing all the ranked events you have ever attended. Once again, your top 5 best scoring events in the past 12 months will be listed on top. On this page, there is some basic information, including your region and your team. If this ranked ID is linked to your logged in account, you may click on some of these text fields and edit them directly. So if you wanted to set your region as New Jersey, you could do that. If you wanted to set your team as Kogorasumaru, you could do that as well. Scrolling down to the lower end of the page, to the section titled Complete History of This Player's Scores, you will notice that you can edit your character information simply by clicking the appropriate fields. Character usage information is stored in the basic three-letter notation system. Talam is labeled T-A-L, Sungmina is labeled M-I-N, Siegfried is labeled S-I-G, etc. For a complete list of notations, check the guidelines threads in the Tournament Aftermaths forum. You may list up to five characters for a specific event, and you should separate each character with a comma. If you entered your information correctly, you will see icons for your characters immediately. If you messed up, you will see a broken image. The editing of character uses information is a little buggy in Firefox, so I recommend you edit in Internet Explorer. If you are a tournament organizer, you may edit the information for any ranked event you have run. For instance, I will search for events run by me by typing my name into the event search field and pressing enter. This will return a full list of events in which I am listed as the organizer. For example's sake, I am going to click on the GVN Winter Brawl 2009. On the GVN Winter Brawl 2009 page, we have more information. The top section is of course basic information about the tournament and is also editable by any logged in user whose ID is listed as an organizer. As you can see, I can clearly edit the venue and the organizer information. However, be warned about editing the organizer information as your rights to edit this page are based on the numbers in parentheses in that field. You could theoretically remove your ID from the field and lose your editing rights for the event. The IDs in this field are your forum ID, not your ranking ID. If you want to give a user rights over your events, simply add their name to this field and include their forum ID in parentheses. As you can see, multiple users can have rights to the same event. Scrolling down to the bottom, we have a list of players who attend the event sorted by the results on the bracket. The higher a player in the list, the higher rank they earn. The list also displays the player's region, their team, and the characters they use at this event. 
if you are listed to have rights over this event, you may freely edit the character usage section just as you would the individual ranking page I showed earlier in this video. You may also edit the region and team of each player in the event. Editing regions or teams for a player is linked directly to that player's ranking ID. So if you edit the region or team for one event, it will change the region or team for that player in all events they have ever attended, as well as their individual ranking page. Now that I have explained the basics of this new feature of the ranking ladder system, I am hoping that users on our forums would be willing to go into their accounts and events and update the missing information on their profiles. I have done my best to make sure this is as simple as possible, but I understand that some of these events are going on a year old. Some of us are rather forgetful and can't remember what characters we used so long ago. But tournament aftermath threads are still there, so you can easily peruse that forum to jog your memories. Thank you for your time. I hope you like this new feature and the eventual statistical data that will come from it.